Hello everybody, welcome to the first Aero BB semi-final. We've got Pybot here in uh are we gonna no, we're gonna, we're gonna put the differentiating colours on here. Pybot in blue with Skaven. Has a very nice one-turning gutter runner there. And some claw mighty and mighty blow two tackles. Juggernaut right over for the one turn, of course. Uh, pretty decent team, only 12 players. And uh, up against Sir J Hands with Undead. Oh, he's got a he's got a mummy miss next game. Oh, that's a killer, isn't it? M Undead with only one mummy is absolutely tragic, to be honest. It's like a bad human team. Uh, movement eight ghoul is good. Mighty blow tackle is okay. And he's got Bryce the Slice Cambio and a Bribe. That's the word I can think of, a Bribe. Which I don't think is great. I think if he could have had Ivan Death Shroud, he should have had Ivan Death Shroud. I'm not... I think that's... I think he could have had Ivan Death Shroud. But I guess the idea is, you know, you can saw a gutter runner and kill it. Uh, which is pretty good, isn't it? So, you know. And then, and obviously, if you don't kill it, then you could foul as well. So, like, I don't, I don't hate the bribe. Like, it's good synergy, right? Like, the, the bribe backs up the sword, but also lets you foul more. Um, but I think I, uh, I think I would have gone Ivan if I could. And so there you go. So that's that. That's the teams and the players. And then there's also the era BB thing here. This is the whole playoffs. You can see, you know, if you if you want to pause it and have a look, you can. Um, there was a whole bracket here. The other semi-final is Antrim versus Andy Davo. The winner of this will get a ticket to the World Championship in uh, you know October, November, and December. Um, so there's a good chance that whoever wins this one will face Davo in the final, and of course Davo already has a ticket. So this could be um, for a World Cup ticket. This match, there's a chance of it being for a World Cup ticket. <laughs> yes, it's it's different uh, being a human child to being a Blood Bowl team, but yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, an undead team with only one mummy is, is, is a bit tragic. It really is a bit tragic. So this is going to be a tough, a tough game for Sir J. Hams, I'm sure. And uh, Pybot won the toss and chose to kick. This is, of course, um, progression format. So, you know, they, they might do some weird things to, like, skill up a player or something. Um, Suboptimal moves more when there's progression, right? Like, this gutter would like to score two touchdowns. I'd like to not choke. Sorry, just had to mute myself where I choked a lot there and coughed. Not like proper choking, mild choking and coughing. Do you know what's funny? I remember years ago, um, my mother started choking and I was eating I was eating dinner with my mother and my father, as a, as children do. <laughs> and uh, and my mother started choking and then and then she went away at the toilet, the bathroom. And my father and I were just chuckling, but you know. <laughs> and then, and then for some reason, I realised like, what if she's dying? And I just thought about that the other day, and I thought, God, imagine like, imagine if she just died while I was just in the other room, like not thinking anything about it. And like, you know, and then, and then I just thought, now I could just fucking die, couldn't I? I could just fucking choke and die, <laughs> and it's pretty bad, isn't it? Number one reason to get married, so you don't just choke and die. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Think about it, everybody. <laughs> Women might be a pain in the ass, but <laughs> at least you won't choke to death on your own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go. It is kind of insane, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, Blood Bowl and Bubbles. <laughs> Happy to be of help. <laughs> yeah, I, 
honest, I'm amazed that I never did anything crazy when I like, you know, got, I got really drunk back in the day. It's kind of amazing that I got through all of that completely unscathed. This was a wild chainsaw, by the way. To like a, on a one, you just almost lose. Like it's not, it's not that bad, right? Because he did have the screen there, but like. He would, have, he would have just had, had this hit, right? He would have just had an instant 1D to completely open up the cage. Like, you just put a guard in there and 1D him. So, yeah, this guy should have done that first, right? Should have done these first before that hit. That was a very high risk saw, but it worked. Got a Kaz. Fantastic uh, input from Bryce the Slice. It's not a goblin. Yeah, it's a great model, actually. You know, as much as... As much as we've given Cyanide some shit, this is a- he's a giant, I don't know why, like, he's strength three, by the way. He's strength three, but he's just for some reason an absolutely fucking giant player. Takes his head off. Like, he's fucking great. But I don't know why he's <laughs> strength three, he's absolutely gigantic. <laughs> or I don't know why he's that gigantic, he's strength three. He's very groovy, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's brilliant. Mm, fair enough, Bucky. Fair enough. Yeah, well, they've got they they had the, the there is a strength four one, isn't there? Max Spleen Ripper is a strength four saw, like the Chaos one. Kind of like a Chaos Warrior with a saw. Um, but yeah, I, <laughs> thinking about it, I'd never really zoomed in before in game. I'd zoomed in the model, like, you know, on the coach and that, but. <laughs> He's huge! <laughs> this is two rib cages! The chainsaw is absolutely bigger. Than, is it two? No. So I guess that's why he's that big, right? Because they made the saw a rib cage. Oh my god, he's been cast. That they they thought, well, this is, this is how big the saw has to be to make the rib cage and uh, spine the handle and stuff. So I guess they they modelled that and they thought, well, this is how big the saw has to be. So now he just has to be this big. But he's fucking massive. The rats are getting a bit diced here. Two cars instantly. That's going to really limit their ability to play properly. Really has to try and hunt down the uh, the one turning piece or pieces, right? There's the uh, juggernaut roger and there is the uh, the sidestep cutter. Yeah, he could have been like a flesh golem, couldn't he? Then he could have actually looked like uh, Bruce Campbell, couldn't he? Disgusting advert. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, oh, okay, well, here we go. There is the failure. Gets the Lona reroll and gets the knockdown. Outrageous. Wait. Oh, yeah, does it just cut off it? Yeah. Again, <laughs> probably could have got the ball safe in the cage before I did that. Fully safe. Fully, fully safe ball. Hello, Tulian. Yeah, Sinai. They've done. They've done well on it on a bunch of the uh, animations, etc. The problem, the problem with going for this hit with the soul is like protecting it, right? You can get, you can get nailed by this guy now, or this guy. Uh, though, though actually, he's not good because he's already getting plus three from the soul, isn't he? So, I guess either isn't it? this one's got guard. Either one, you've got to, you've got to blitz him now, right? You have to blitz him. So you're right, mate. Yeah, I'd probably want to keep him next to the uh, mummy, right? So at least the, you'd have to base the mighty blow to hit him. And then um, you get to smash him back with mighty blow. And obviously guard as well. 
So yeah, I, I guess I would have tried to keep Bright. Oh my god, okay, he's just going for Roger. Instant full power. Kaz. Okay, I mean, I would have gone with block. <laughs> but uh, there you go. Glorious. Roger also, by the way, would have eat, bitten this rookie gut. Removed the gut to get bitten, didn't he? So he did. He did plan for uh, the the animal savagery. But well, that equalizes the uh, dice a little bit. Like this had more payoff in that you know you get you get a second chance. But how fast was he? One, two, three, four, five, six. It would have been a G five. He had to hit him again, but it would have given him the follow up block, wouldn't it? So. Yes, they maybe have. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit overdone. But yeah, you know, it's okay, isn't it? It's cool. He's like too much of a star, isn't he? Like he's a star, but he's too much. Yeah. <laughs> Teenage boy with links. Yes. <laughs> he did get rogered. Yeah. Yeah. Or rogered. Yeah. Even better. So he doesn't even get to hit back the roger, right? He'd have to GFI to hit it back. So I think that that's what he probably should have done was to keep it keep him nearer the uh... Also, if he'd kept him near the mummy, he would have had to have blitzed with a roger. Because he couldn't have got two dice on him with the uh, blitzer. I mean, I like the I like the fumes, but I can see how you could think that they're uh, they're too much. Sure. Just uh, smash the gutter. Hasn't. He does have a tackle mighty, so he can three dice the rookie. Three dice the rookie with mighty blow. Get the ball safe first. I would have used like this guy up there for the assist. Because now he's going to have to expose Ghoul or the uh, White to do it. Or he's not going to, he's just going to do it on a 2. But I would have wanted 3. But this, this is stronger, right? Having this guy on this side. Is stronger than having the assist up there. But three dice is really good. It's the knockdown. Also, the gut would have then been based on the on the guy who'd assisted, right? Glorious. No, I won't give in. Until I'm victorious. And I will defend. I will defend. Legend has it if you look in the mirror and say Blood Bowl five times Jimmy Fantastic appears and pals you with a double thumbs up a h h h y e a h h h. Oh yeah! Thank you very much Calcium, what an absolute fucking legend. 90 glorious months. That's seven and a half years isn't it? Over 12 fever pregnancies. Unbelievable. Um, Thank you so much, Calcium. Over 12, 22, over 22, I almost said 12. 22 be your pregnancy. Unbelievable. It's funny with you saying that, Calcium, saying winter means time for Blood Bowl 3. Winter for me generally means Battle Brothers. <laughs> but um, glorious, glorious the uh, The Taekwondo King. <laughs> <laughs> oh, then you then you get powered with a double thumbs down if it's not. <laughs> Interesting blitzing taking the safe blitz this turn. Um is the rogue gonna try to reposition? Maybe just don't activate the roger because he doesn't want to bite. I guess he could bite the lineman. Stunt 
stuns his own player. Well done, Rat Ogre. But, oh, okay, yeah, gets him on the ball. I mean, that's fair enough, I guess. It's not what I like to do, but it's it's good, <laughs> isn't it? It's just I don't like doing it. Like, I don't like playing Skaven, okay? I don't like playing Skaven. Number one. Number two, um, the problem is now you can blitz this guy into him and get him off. And then uh, you can like leave the roger behind a bit, can't you? I like, the, the problem with putting the tackle on the ball, okay, so we've blocked that off, so that's good. We could put a player in here, and a player here. Double chain. Um, the problem is getting players behind the ball, right? He's got four players behind the ball. The thing is with Skaven, that's okay, because it means now you've got a scoring threat and stuff, right? So he's got two scoring threats, two counter scoring threats. So having players behind the ball isn't really so bad for Skaven, is it? Or not bad at all for Skaven. This is actually quite a lot, right? It'd be like double GFI to get him in there and then a double GFI to blitz with him. And you have to move him in there. So it's quite a lot to, to chain the rogue free. So you probably just have to blitz the rogue with the money. But he hasn't. Pwah. Pwah. It's a bit rowdy. Pwah. <laughs> oh, I just hitting the one turner. Okay, I mean, there's there's a lot in value in just hitting the one turner. We don't have the chain free though here because, of course, it's got sidestep. Looked like he was setting up the chain by putting these in. Also, this guy could have come in right to make it three D. I oh, know he couldn't because of this one. So that's. Oh my god, he's got the AV break and the removal. 50 50 at stopping the one turn. Can't apple because he'll get fouled. And then you just block with the ball. And then 3 4 5, and then you 2D him. But like, it's really, really. This guy's probably going to have to like double GFI to make a cage. Probably going to have to use like this guy around here. And then move this guy over, and then like at least single GFI this one. Maybe we could just put him down one. Yeah, maybe just him down one. And then him across. And then like one GFI. I think you have to make one GFI though with this guy. This is a pretty good solve. By Sir G Hams. Oh, okay. Well, less good now. I think he had to come across. Because <laughs> this 1D is way too dangerous. You basically have to power the Roger. Oh, no. Okay, he does get the power. But again, if this guy had come down, he gets 2D on him, right? And then he doesn't use that last reroll. So if this guy comes down... And this guy goes over, and that guy GFIs was, was a lot better. Yes, the easy one turn, yes, but it, it's still the one turner, right? It's, yeah. I knew what I meant, Chrissy B. Hello, Keith. Ta 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 ta. <laughs> Sorry, that's that. Is that bad that I said that? Top, top of the morning to you, Keith. <laughs> yes, Goldstacker, I like big guys that don't beat anyone team as well. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of Rogers. And yep, the role, so, so the two, 
two of the key parts of the one turn are gone. He still has the leader on the ball player, right? Leader on the ball thrower. So he's still got one of the key parts of the one turn. And of course, he's still got, you know... Basically unskilled gutters. Basically rookie gutters. So it's still, it's, he's not out of the woods at all. Thanks, Keith. I wasn't... <laughs> I was trying not to be. It did cost him a lot, right? He's out of rerolls now. He's out of rerolls now. Bryce the slice is gone. Um, but you know, there's very few. There's very few Skaven left. No real shots on the ball. So he's completely recovered. The problem is he just has to do safe moves first now. Has to do safe moves first and. Uh, not fail anything disastrous. Glorious Keat, hopefully. Shame you couldn't neither of you could make it for this one, could you? It would have been it would have been ideal to have. Keat or Kalon or both. Ah, that's sad. I think it should be able to be used on both, um, according to the rules of the game. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, game of Vision, I'd have to check out. I'd have to reread all of the skills involved and check out the FAQs. Right, so just play super safe now, right? Mega, mega, mega cage. Mega cage first, then then care about everything else. Not going very far. Ah, it's so that this guy can be the back of the cage. We're gonna bring bring the guard around here so we can blitz this gutter. That's okay. Or the or the mummy, right? The mummy could go in there. The problem is that if the mummy goes in the blitzer could do something, so I quite like the mummy staying to control the blitzer here. Does not get to smash the gutter. Yeah, so that was the thing, like this guy now he can put a gutter in and a gutter around a 2D blitzer, whereas if it's a mummy he just couldn't have, could he? Oh, it's a good point, Keith. Yeah, I did. I did lose in Pi, but I did. I did. Yeah. I mean, thanks for reminding me that I lost Keith. First of all, um, <laughs> Pi bot was uh, was the penultimate Blood Bowl two champion of Era BB, and he did play me in the final, and he had Chaos Dwarves, and I had Dark Hell. So already it was a tough racial matchup, but. Then, the main thing that decided the match was that I had had a strength for which elf that had died tragically in uh, probably you know the biggest icing that anybody's ever faced in Blood Bowl. Uh, versus sick as eggs, I lost my favourite player, and I've never stopped crying about it. <laughs> Thanks, Kate. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> This is the problem, right? Like, you know, is uh, by putting more down here to fight this, I would have maybe just tried to, like, mega cage up here and, and ignore this, because now by going down here to fight, all of a sudden, he's outnumbered now, right? At, the, at this point here. We've got this guy, two on one. Kind of cutting off these two. 
He can come around, he can go. If you just base everything here with no rerolls, things can happen. See, I like getting further downfield as Sir uh, Jay Hans, and, uh, and then, you know, I would actually, this guy would have dodge blitzed the rookie. That's what I'd done. I'd have dodged with him and blitzed the rookie and just abandoned this. I know it kind of sucks to abandon this, but uh, well, I would have I would have left the mummy on these too. So if he wants to hit the mummy, he'd have had to invest heavily. You just blitz with this guy. You blitz with him first, push him to there, and then you blitz with him one, two, three. Four, five, six, and that gives you the two D with the ball. It's not, it's not pretty, but it's probably what you've got to do. And dub skulls kill you, but it's probably what you've got to do. Is this a GFI? Oh my god! Yeah, you had to not GFI there, right? If you have to block this guy. That's why I'd have blocked this guy first because it cuts the corner. Wouldn't have had to GFI then. Oh, rough, thick of eggs, indeed. Game of vision. So now, suddenly, suddenly, the rats are in with a chance. Got to think about all the ways he can do this, hasn't he? There's lots of uh, options. I think probably you just blitz the wrestle with a wrestle, right? Go for the uphill wrestle here. And then... It's not uphill, sorry, 1D wrestle. Go for the 1D wrestle. I think that's probably the play. One wrestle would have been a pow, then you would have had this hit, so Yeah, one D the one D wrestle I think had to be the play there. Cause this is still a one D, right? Because you, you want recovery, this is the problem. So if this one D wrestle just gets a push then you come in there and assist, then he uh, blocks him, and then you've still got, like, then you would have had this cut it to hand after him, or this cut it to hand after him. So he's doing all the way to get to, the problem is, push is no good here. The, the 1D with the wrestle was way, was way better. 100%. Oh yeah, you get the you can get the ball down, but it's still just a one D and now so he's used all of his players to get the two D here. And does doesn't get the knockdown. Classic. <laughs> Classic blood ball. Wow. Now he gets to put guard in there and blitz the him to chain out the ball. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. I guess I'd like put this guy uh, as a screen or something. Maybe base there. I want to move him before you do the bit so that you can change to there. And then not move him in case it's a push so you can punch him again. Maybe him, right? Maybe you can move this guy in here. So that gives you this block hit afterwards. This has to be the play though, guard and then blitz. Oh, he'd stood up. So yeah, probably shouldn't have moved this guy. This, this, this zombie should not have moved. This zombie should have stayed here. So that if this is a push, he could have blocked him. And it is a push. <laughs> 
and he's moved him and now he can't punch him otherwise you'd have had this 2D hello I can't oh he makes the dodge oh he, did he do a GFI he just scored he did not try to stall it out that's interesting I would have definitely just ran I'm pretty sure I guess the problem is like the gutters can get you right One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G5, G5. Even, even this guy can get you even the bloody uh, storm vermin can get you potentially no the wrestler didn't Christopher B the wrestler hadn't stood up but yeah the, the blocker had stood up I didn't know that, but the rest of them. He didn't bribe the secret weapon, did he? He argued the call it! He argued the call on a six! <laughs> Amazing! Amazing! Hello, Mr. Esprit. <laughs> Always in the strike of the zoo rat, yeah. God, I hate rats. Not as much in real life, funnily enough. Not a fan of them in real life, but God, in Blood Bowl, they're horrible. No offence, Sol. Oh, the uh, one turn has stayed out. But I mean, there's still, there's still lesser gutters. I tell you what, uh, Sol, if I offend you, you can you can uh, write to me with uh, you can you can address your complaint to uh, twitch.tv slash dimmy underscore g. Sucking in your in real life league or I Ireland league? <laughs> because Unforgiven IRL is Unforgiven Ireland. <laughs> but I thought it was Unforgiven in real life. It's a funny old game. I've played it for 30 years. Um, it's. Uh, It's stressful sometimes. <laughs> it's probably the best way of putting it. The undead did give the last two turns. It wasn't super easy to stall, right? And you'd have to make dice rolls. And he could have got caught by the tackler. So I guess he just thought, screw it, give him two turns. But um, the rats have got two re-rolls. So... It's hard to bet against them banging in in two, isn't it? In real life. Ah. It's funny, I don't really associate Italians with pizza or spaghetti anymore. I just. <laughs> just plumbers. <laughs> just plumbers with giant mustaches. <laughs> Yeah, it, it seems really easy to two turn with rats. Real easy. There's like no, there's no like instant failure states. Like like there isn't a one turn right and stuff. Not even chevrons yet. There's a gaping hole. There's a gaping hole down the sideline. Vicious ref. It stunned his blitzer. To be fair. Uh, first thing he should have done was just get a gutter in scoring range, right? 
the first thing you have to do to play optimally is just get this gutter downfield in range first action you know quad schools doesn't stop you scoring you can think about the entire formation as well if you want tabletop you could put all of your dice on the field Ah, uh, yes, this guy's going to go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, there's going to be, you know, dice here, dice here, dice here. So you put this guy there. But whatever you do, you just put that guy there first. Instant. Instant. Get that guy in range. Yes, Chirgan, yeah. This isn't Chalice, this is Error BB. Error BB. Um. So you know, I'm not I'm not holding them to Super League or Chalice standards. I'll try to be helpful if if I see something, you know, helpful to everybody. Helpful Jim. Helpful Jim. Uh, this guy isn't really going to get def uh, as I say, I would have put this guy here right, so that he could have uh, been screening this fella so he's got three other people to make like the formation where the ball's going to be, right so again, he probably could have moved this guy first three, four, five, six, seven this guy could have probably already like been here and therefore probably should have been and the ball could be then this guy can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then like GFI to there. So that's probably the play, right? This guy gets to here, ball goes here, here, and then this guy goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bit far forward. He's got to go here, right? Oh, yeah, can, I was going to go all the way around, but yeah, I can just cut through there. Um, you've got to uphill the Rolger. The, the, so the, I would have gone. I would have gone one back, and one back with all of this, right? So that, but because now you just have to punch the Rolger. You have to uphill the Rolger and then come round the back. In fact, you can one D or two D the Rolger here. You've got so many players. Yeah, you can just simply 2D the Rolga. Interesting. Yeah, for some reason, it's because it's the Skaven have got no players, have they? The Skaven have got no players, and one of the players he did have was, uh, was a Ficious Reft. So, can fully just 2D him. any re-roll so maybe you just put this guy in here maybe you do a dodge right maybe the ghoul does a dodge so he can base this gutter and then this one bases this and then you've got two and a two on the blitz wait did he uh, this guy probably should have gone there right this guy if he could have got someone in here that would have been better because this has cut his angle off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. If this guy had assisted from there, then this guy could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's custom square movement. Two into one. Wrestles him. So now he's got this guy as a recovery, but. Well, he can get there. And again, he's stopped him with recovery as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, double GFI. I mean, he's got two, hasn't he? Can't leave it on the ground. And that extra GFI. Oh, my God. Nearly gave him the ball. So, yeah, what a, what a big difference. Like, I mean, I don't know if this guy could have got here or not. You know, but, like, if one of these two had been on there, then he would have he would have got to the ball, even if he hadn't picked it up. A vicious ref is very stupid, yeah.
Yeah, the wall of flares did him no favours there. So with two rerolls, he can he can punch things. You know, in the old in the old edition, you wouldn't punch anything here because you'd save your reroll for the for the pickup. But now you get to punch and risk a quad skull because if you have to reroll the hit, you can still reroll the pickup. That went like really quick, didn't it? I didn't even see that, but um. He picked it up and scored. <laughs> so well, it's not, it's not over, but um, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Pie bot gets all of his KOs back. He's basically taking no damage at this point. Oh, he's got ten. He's got ten. Surprising, only having twelve Skaven, isn't it? He's got ten players, and uh, he can't leave Bryce blitzable. You cannot leave Bryce blitzable. Also, the rogue is back, so we've got we've got surfing things as well. We've got surfing possibilities as well as protecting Bryce. Okay, good, 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 good. Rule of five in. This is sensible. Very sensible. Very sensible. It's good to be sensible most of the time in Blood Bowl, I think. I think, you know, and we say about, like, you know, the, you know, having to risk it more if you're behind and stuff. But there's still just a lot to be said for being sensible even then, I think. I think if you just... You know, like, if you just protect against absolute failure and maximise two dice blocks, I think that's going to take you very very far I think the times it's probably overestimated by people the times when it's best to do something else <laughs> basically yeah throw a rock was insane I, I lost best for gore the original the original best for gore he was like a strength for pester gore with like uh, I can't remember I can't remember if he was like a blood sure hands or if he was a Mighty blow, claw tackle, but whatever he was, the original best for goal. I think he was. I think he was a carrier, right? I think he was like movement, strength, blood, sure hands, and he just fucking died. They were fucking throwing rock. It was bullshit. My favorite player. Another another one of my favorite players. But it, it tells a good story, doesn't it? That's the thing. The thing is... They view it more as... Uh, as like... What's that What's that thing called? Rimworld, isn't it? You know, where like you, you, you have a story. The rogue is back here. He's daiquiring. He's daiquiring. They view it more as you just tell a story and it's like an RPG kind of thing, isn't it? And you're just there to make a fun and crazy game. Narrative, there you go. Yes. Thank you, Pendo. They view it more like that, don't they, Games Workshop? They're not they don't It's not about balance or strategy or anything. As much as lots of us play it like that. <laughs> That's not what they think about. They just think about oh look, this is flavourful and fun. So yeah, so this is a Daka. If you don't know a Daka, a Kenatep. Um, it's named after the guy who invented it on Fumble, Matt Daka. Well, popularised it because some people will say that he didn't invent it. Some people will say they've been doing it for 20 years, but um, he popularised it, certainly. So you start, with the, you start up here to defend against a Blitz. 
and then you run everybody back, pick up the ball, and then they've got to like walk towards you and like hold their shape, and then you will go back again. They've got to come towards you, and then either they've got to base you up and try and stop and stop and stop you, like try and get the ball, or they've just got to hold their formation as deep in your half as they can. In which case, if you do break through, you've got all the field behind them to like stall easily. And so it's really good at like minimizing damage and also getting you the eight turn stall. It's a really great strategy. So if you start the roger there, then at least if he if he rolls on a four plus and doesn't do anything, at least he's back in the right area of the pitch. Whereas if you put him up up the front, you'd have to blitz with him and he's got frenzy to get back, you know, so it's be hard to control him there is if you start off deep in your own half at least. It's uh I mean that is the disadvantage. It is a little bit risky. It's not. It, I wouldn't. I don't think it's too risky. I think it's a great. I think it's a great strategy. Um, I mean, it is more risky, of course. But then, um, playing properly has its own risks as well, right? Conventionally, a conventional offense has its own problems as well. So, the danger is if you lose the ball, you lose it next to your own touchdown line. Yes, yes. I mean that is. That is the, the clear and present danger of, uh, of doing the DACA. But the payoff is incredible, right? Like, you don't get punched this turn. And you don't get punched next turn. And then your opponent might mess up the defense. And you might just get, get through clean easy. Um, so it, Hello. Oh, my goodness. It's the most Irish man in the world. Hello, Skuro. I, I, figured, I figured to really encapsulate the... Uh, uh, you know the uh, the effect of being fully Irish. I had to show up 53 minutes late. Um, I'm not drunk. Uh, that would be really uh, you know really true to form. But it, you know it's a Monday afternoon for me, so it's the best I can do here in the uh, capital city, Ball of Ireland, just outside of Boston, Massachusetts, USA. Hello, everyone. Oh, yes. Hello. <laughs> Steve, Steve got it instantly when I said, when I said the most Irish man ever will be joining me in the booth. <laughs> he got it instantly, did Steve? I was like, God damn it! <laughs> I I was like, Well, do you mean it could be Keith or Kalon? I, I I just don't know which yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I see uh, Calcium Kaz is here, uh, most famous for uh, having lost me in the SFL finals. Um, really, really helping uh, create the legend of the greatest Blood Bowl player of all time. I told him, Sandy, I, 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 or Sands, I told him he had to play that for my introduction, but then I forgot to show up on time. So. <laughs> yes. yes, I've got it queued up. I've got it queued up, ready to play on that. And then he wasn't <laughs> completely. I was sitting in front of my computer doing absolutely nothing too. I just didn't have Discord open to see your reminder. Uh, and I, uh, yeah, I want to say it's because you said three hours from now, and I did four hours from now. But I just fucking forgot. <laughs> I'm not a problem. It's it's wonderful to hear your Irish accent again, Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> indeed, indeed. Toy to toy to tiddly toy. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, yeah, we just saw the Roger, the, the most reliable big guy in the game. Guarantee its movement and uh, stun its own player. I do I do love the Roger. Uh, I was invited in here to do serious commentary on this. I, I assume this is an Irish league, hence the jokes. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Um, but I can tell you this. I don't know what half... Oh, and some of these icons are familiar, I guess. But I really don't know how to read Blood Bowl 3. I've watched like four games of it ever it really <laughs> cured me of my blood bowl addiction unlike most of you suckers uh and my life has been better for it i, I think yeah it's it's funny i was talking to kaz the other day and he's like my life is so much better without blood bowl oh <laughs> uh, well i i gotta believe i deserve a little bit of thanks for that calcium for beating <laughs> you out of the game It was never the same after that collapse in the <laughs> SFL finals. True. <laughs> He's typed FFS more than more than anything else, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it's good to good to hear from you though, Calcium. I'm glad you're 
Glad you're still, you know, around and probably procreating <laughs> enough for the three of us. Because <laughs> um, Jim and I, Jim and I aren't doing that shit. <laughs> We're not stupid. <laughs> well, I was thinking about it, actually, Skuro. You missed it. You missed the star. But I was, there, I was thinking the main bonus to procreation is it's, it eliminates, well, not eliminates, it greatly reduces the chance of choking to death. <laughs> So. Well, I'm I am married. We're just not dumb enough to have kids. Mm. I don't think my dogs are doing the Heimlich on me. Though. Still, still one more one more person in the house to rescue you. Yeah, but <laughs> if you think of it the other way, that's one more person you might have to then put the effort into rescuing from trapping. And that's True. way too much work. I didn't consider that. You you are correct as always, Scoo. True. <laughs> I'm sure uh, we're why 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 is nothing happening in this game? By the way. Um, I, I guess that I guess uh, Piebot is thinking a little bit. Um, it's one one, and he's probably thinking like, "Oh, someone did move." I thought I literally thought the stream was frozen for a minute. I don't, <laughs> I don't quite get why anyone would do this to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> what play play blood ball or or takes so along? <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. I guess he was thinking about the roger, right? Whether the roger should hit or activate or move players before, like you know, if it will go stupid and stuff. Uh, of course, it can do a blitz now. It can nominate, like you know, the mummy as the blitz and then just not blitz it and then run away from it. Classic, classic rat roger to get it moving. Yep, Steve, you called it. Well done, Steve. <laughs> the most Irish man in Blood Bowl, definitely. Mm. It was well, great. I saw. <laughs> One of the few people in Boston without any uh, Irish Irish blood in him, but you know, it still counts. I've worn I've worn green on St. Patrick's Day before and evacuation day. Well, there you go. That's good enough. Um, yeah, it's funny because I just said like you know I, I said to Keith and Kalon, do you want to join me? And they were like that neither of them could, and it was nah. very unfortunately. <laughs> and uh, and then I said I'll get Scooter anyway. He's more Irish than both of you two put together. I said I has brought something something hilarious, and I thought hilarious to me anyway. And I thought wait a minute, <laughs> what if Scooter's Scuro a loser? He's got nothing to do on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think that. I thought, you know, for old time's sake, maybe, maybe yeah, Scooter yeah, yeah, and John yeah. have a bit of a laugh. So there you go. I mean, if if I'd known is... Scoo if I'd known uh, Calcium was here, I, I guess we could have banked on you being here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. You were like, we're like, what, three weeks off from you, like somehow back ending me into restarting the JFW as well. <laughs> oh yeah, two months, two no. weeks away, two weeks away. <laughs> Let's go, two and a half. <laughs> Zero percent chance of that. Oh, diced. Rick's uh, Rick's up for doing commentary, but he, the problem is he's just like insanely busy, um, he said. So I did, I, did, I did ask Rick, you know, and, uh, so Rick Rick, Rick could be involved. Fimey was, was quite interested in doing something, so... Uh, that sounds yeah. like you got a full crew then. I uh, don't, don't have to lift a finger. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. St. Patrick's colour was blue, was it? I didn't know that at all. I did not know that at all. Um, so yeah, so yeah, we might do a bit, I mean, you know, not not like the glory days of Skuro doing everything. But, um, <laughs> but like, maybe a little bit of like, you know, like, pre what, what are they called? Like, premier events or something? What, what are they called? Pay-per-views? No, they're not called pay-per-views anymore. Maybe they're just called special events. No, I don't know. I don't watch that shit. Oh, yeah. Well, they, they call them, like, special <laughs> events or something, not pay-per-views, because they're not pay-per-views right. anymore, are they? Premier yeah, live Yeah, that event. is true. They haven't been pay-per-views for, like, probably a long time after people started, <laughs> kept calling them pay-per-views. Yeah, yeah. Premium live events, mm, yeah. So I go. mean, yeah, aren't they just all on... Peacock or whatever streaming service. Netflix soon. Netflix. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm. I think AEW is going to HBO. Mm. Oh man, maybe it'll all be like Game of Thrones then. That'd be class. <laughs> I I doubt it. <laughs> oh, that's what I'm talking about. They could make it amazing. They could make it... wrestling great again. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm not endorsing Trump by saying that, but you know, <laughs> I'm aware <laughs> it could be. It could be. It would be like the Return of the Attitude Era, couldn't it? That that's what that's what they need if they want to get anybody to watch them. I think. Fuck it, Hey, Debbie. Debbie. Champ, champ, champ. Do you know? Do you know what's happened? Do you know what's happened? Dimmy G has joined Super League and and finished second in his division, joint first, but like lost on tiebreakers to Davo. So there you go, Dimmy the champ of uh, Super League maybe this season. How good is that? But but how many SFL titles does he have? No. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Not hitting the Roger, I would have GFI to smash the Roger, honestly. Playing Olivier on Wednesday, yeah? Playing the number we, one ranked tabletop player in the world on Wednesday. How cool is that? We need to start slathering all of our groceries in, uh, in uh, the hand sanitizer so we can truly relive the glory days of four <laughs> years ago. <laughs> we've got it. We've got calcium here, Demi here. We're talking about rebooting the JFW. It's just you know, none of us go outside anyway, so you know it's all good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was great. Like it, it was funny listening to everybody complain about the pandem pandemic, and I'm like, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, other than your fucking riot shield, and, like fear of people breaking down your house for some reason. True, true, yeah, true. But the, you know, the reality of it was pretty great for me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, we definitely, in America, we don't have to worry about things like that, especially not in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> well, look, at least at least whenever you want rain, you can have it, you know? You can just get in touch with your local, your local <laughs> Republicans? No, Democrats. You can get in touch with your local Democrats and they'll whip you up, a, you know, a nice bit of sunshine or rain whenever you want, won't they? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the difference. I'm sorry, but I, I got there in the end. <laughs> I mean, in normal times, there is no difference. That's the real sad thing. It's just we're we've gone well past normal times. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know the difference, of course, but I don't know the names. <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> <laughs> they both lie, but one side's lies are completely batshit insane. <laughs> and the others are just normal politician lies. Oh, dear. An escape route from America. EU passport. Glorious. Ah. You're near the border, aren't you? You can, you can run away if things... If worse comes to worse, you can just nip, nip over to I country, mean... can't you? Uh, n near the border, in the sense that, like, I don't know, would you consider yourself near London? Yeah. Like, it's it's still a five-hour drive for me to get to the yeah. border. <laughs> but, I mean, yeah. it is also <laughs> relative, isn't it? It is also relative. Yeah. You are in America, so... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the, the, the thing about New England is, like, as, you know, psycho as psychopath as the federal government could be, we're pretty well insulated from it for a, a while longer than most places in the country until they start like it you know like bombing us or something god knows <laughs> god knows how how extreme those fuckers could get with it but new england's pretty 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 low-key and standard at least mm. Yeah, I technically qualify for an Italian passport, but I think it would take longer than it would take the fucking <laughs> goons of Trump to find me to get it and get the fuck out of here. And also, like, I don't think Italy's doing so great right now. Either, so. <laughs> <laughs> me. Mommy. Oh, you gotta get him. Imagine looking at Italy as your like harbor, your safe harbor from fascism. <laughs> oh, the times, how they've changed. <laughs> Nobody had that on their bingo card. <laughs> could could saw could saw one of the one of the blitzes. But I, I thought we were just to. seeing a standard issue DACA here, and then he just kind of stopped moving forward. But again, I don't really know how to read Blood Bowl 3. 
the, the game could be over for all I know. I just, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. A bunch of slop on the screen, <laughs> some colors that don't match. One, one of the great things is, look, that this is what the colors were, right? Like, got dark blue, and then they've got, yeah. like, uh, you know, kind of turquoise, dark, really dark turquoise. Is there, is there a color for really dark turquoise? Is that, has that got a name? <laughs> or is it just really dark turquoise? Anyway, um... Whatever it is, but now you can make them red and blue, which is a really great feature, isn't it? To just yeah, fair enough. That is fantastic. That helps when it's hard to tell what the hell's happening, <laughs> and things have similar colours. It's it really helps to just go, oh look, these are fucking bright blue and these are fucking bright red. What is the glowing guy with the chain? Is He's, that a chainsaw? It is a chainsaw. Yeah. It's slice the Bryce. No, Bryce the Slice Cambio, like Bryce. Ah, uh-huh, right? yeah, like yeah, I get it, I get it. Um, well, he doesn't have like a star under him. To know. I guess you probably don't need to, because he looks very different. But yeah, still, yeah, yeah I, I would have liked him. But look how massive he is. He's strength three, and just for some reason, <laughs> he's like twice. Yeah, as big as but <laughs> I mean, uh, Ulf, I'm assuming Ulf Warners or whatever. <laughs> it's probably. <laughs> Probably the size of a fucking grat. <laughs> we'll find out in a couple of years. <laughs> no, still aren't in. <laughs> and uh, it might take like six months. I think six months. I think it'll take about six months for uh, Norse to be in. Maybe longer. But you know, they're getting through the teams eventually. Turn 14, so this is perfect for the Skaven, isn't it? They can just get the three gutters up. And uh, yeah. this is looking pretty comfortable for them. Pretty comfortable. So Pybot is Saul, you said? Pybot is who? Oh, I thought you said the player was Saul, but I'm looking up and seeing it's Pybot. So maybe I'm just, maybe I, I misheard you earlier. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, I, it's, yeah, Pybot is uh, the Skaven. Sir Jehans is... The Undead, they are both in Aero BB, which is the Irish Blood Bowl League, in Blood Bowl 2 and 3. and the Which I hope the... isn't paying you money for this commentary. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, I can safely say I've never been paid. No, that's a lie. I've never been paid to do commentary um, by an independent league. <laughs> there we go. Um, but or of course, a functional game company. Oh, hey, but uh, of course I, I I did go to the World Cup last year, the, the, not the World Cup, the Season 2 Finals last year, and this year I'm doing the uh, the World Championships, that's glorious isn't it, in, in uh, Very cool. whenever, wherever it is, uh, somewhere, somewhere, um, Montpellier Ooh. will be going back, yeah, he had to do the 1D, I would have done the 1D on, on Bryce Cambio, right, if he does that 1D then he gets to... You know, he gets yeah. to deal with a, a saw. Now he can saw him and then open up a lot over here or something. I mean, there's two deals. I board, assume right? you mean Montpellier in France, not Montpelier in Vermont. Uh, no, Montpellier <laughs> in there. Uh, in Montpellier. <laughs> yeah, yeah oh, no, we, we just we 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 just we like to cut that down to Montpelier. <laughs> Fair enough capital of vermont it's got like 30 people in it <laughs> no one lives in vermont lovely state but no one lives there good skin this is interesting i wonder if he's gonna this guy three four five six seven he could double geofy to hit with wrestle or he could just hit for free with block but then, he, if he hits, if he double G fires to wrestle, then he's got the blocker to thing. Or he could punch him, or he could saw him, and then he could double G fire with the, uh, the zombie double G fire. Is probably better, right? The problem would be blocking the free. Gets the full power. Ooh! That's spicy. You can get the ball, you can double dodge, pick it up yeah. in the tackle zone and get it to here. Like, that and would be incredible. immediately lose it again. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, it's dice to roll at least now. 
Yeah, I, th I mean, I think that's the play, right? Just get, yeah. it, get it here and then hope for the best. A lot of dice. Ah, so it doesn't make the dodge. The problem here is, like, he, he just can't get it safe, right? Like, he can't go anywhere yeah. now. And, in fact, we'll just get instantly served, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, he uh, did try for the GFI. Fails the GFI. Do you feel the GFI or the dodge? Dodge, there? yeah. I think he won in nine. Yeah, the dodge. He the do uh, uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Um, but like, I think he had to. Sorry, had to. sorry. It's not a GFI. It's a a rush. What it is, is it now? It is a rush. Yeah, it is a rush. A rush. Yeah. Like the world famous Canadian band that I definitely heard of before people mentioned it. <laughs> 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 I mean, they're definitely world famous, but you'd be forgiven for not really knowing or caring that much about them. Thanks. They're fine. <laughs> Some people can be into them, and that's fine, but they're not, like, world breakers of a band or anything. <laughs> Hello, Papa Piccio. I wonder what the play is. Could maybe blitz, like stand up this gutter, dodge out blitz with this gutter, and then, uh, in fact, no, don't, oh, no, then you need it for the 2D. You could just dodge and hit that ghoul. It's probably the best, isn't it? But the problem is it's more dice. Oh, God, he just runs around everything on twos. <laughs> <laughs> And then hands it off and it tackles on. Oh my god. Skaven. Extra arms and two heads just means that was all twos. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six two pluses. Rerolls on four of them. Just easy. And doesn't have to score. And he is in range of the tackler. He's got to put him here. And this one can run all the way. Run one, two, three, four, five. Just a bunch of dodges. Good to go. Yeah, pretty good, isn't it? Just roll some dice. This one wants to go here. Yeah, he can't reach for that one. Yeah, this one, this one's got to go. This is the correct square, I'm pretty sure. Flipping rats. Uh, the bonus time gives yeah. me a fucking anxiety attack. <laughs> like it's good. Like it's good to have. Like it's a better clock, I think, right? Yeah. Than it used to be, but it's fucking obnoxious. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A few people don't like it. Yeah. Okay, so goes for the dodge with him to get the hit. And then he can GFI and tag him, and then that gives him the yeah. loot through as well. So that was pretty nice. So I can put him anywhere. I can just put him there. I can reach. Yeah, GFI to there, or, or just in the way? Yeah, yeah, just in the way. It's yeah, that's fine there. So now this 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 guy has to go three Start tagging. four 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 <laughs> two two to two D because you can't just tag right you can't just tag cause yeah you yeah I guess you can't yeah you just gonna scroll a million dice well I don't know man what's more likely though right you making all those fours or him failing a two plus definitely you making all the rolls way more likely like way way. Really? Unbelie yeah, unbelievably more likely. Eh. Um, I guess the thing is, if he fails the 2+, plus, then at least he just doesn't score, because you could do all of that, and then he could score anyway. <laughs> yeah, that, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, because now there's multiple rerolls as well, right? So you could use two rerolls on the sequence. Um, oh, right, right, right. Yeah, I forgot about that. I forgot you can just roll, <laughs> free roll as much as you want. Yeah. 
So it would have been a 3 plus dodge, and then like, I think like 2 off. Well, let's see. Well, he just used his blitz, so he is just tagging him. Yeah. He's so, got to tag him, though. Yeah. Oh. He didn't tag him. Didn't tag him. him. Okay, well. So he just loses? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, I mean, uh... in fairness, he definitely can't fail that role. <laughs> Did he move fully? I thought he had a. I thought he had another GFI, Magnus. Uh, but if he, I mean, if he can't make it there, then why would he do that blitz? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He just gets scored on and now has to one turn, or hope for a riot. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's not. It's choice. Not good enough. Oh. And he got danced on too. Here we go, right? The chance the chance of him making a three plus four plus four plus two plus two plus two D and getting a POW is three point two percent. So that is pretty much the same as a as a you know as a one in thirty-six. So it's bit baseline it's the same. That's actually kinda wild. Yeah, yeah, yeah fair enough. And then you add a reroll and it's eleven and a half percent, and you add a second reroll and it's twenty-one percent. Like one in five chance of making that insane sequence of rolls. Like that's crazy. Yeah, the multi rerolls in a turn. That I just I've never played the game under those conditions, so like I mm. couldn't even strategize that way. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's I would it's probably just things. I'd probably J five them and just use them all in turn one. <laughs> Just be like, fucking let's go. I'm definitely going to succeed my first turn. <laughs> well, that's what the that's what the tabletop is. Uh, I was I was watching a One World, One Blood Bowl. And, uh, you know, like the, the tabletoppers that he had on were saying, like, it seems in this edition of the rules, the good players ba beat the bad players more because the bad players, like, you know, use up all of their rerolls on turn one and stuff. <laughs> and then, and then the, you know, and they get to... They get to smooth out all of their like really unlucky turns, or get to do crazy ball sacks and stuff. Do you know what I mean? Whereas the, yeah, the bad yeah, players yeah, just yeah. waste them. Like they always waste yeah. them anyway, right? And now they waste them even worse. Whereas the the yep. good players make even better. Yeah, use you of just them. get addicted to making sure something that probably didn't even matter if you thought about it for five seconds longer. Yeah, goes through. It's like, hey, yeah. Yeah, like you know, n not not ordering correctly, right? Like just do a block before the ball's secure, and then oh well, I've got to re-roll it. Whereas if you'd uh, if you'd screen first, it would have been all right. So yeah, so that that is a like I thought that you know like when the change came in, I thought it is good for good players, but I just thought I yeah. you know it, from not even thinking of that way, I just liked it for the idea of smoothing over the reading and looking. Like I hated it when like you know you just had to like. Two plus dodge yeah, like, and then two two yeah. D the ball and you just fucking fail your GFI and you're like for fuck's sake and then you roll a push and yep. it was so yep. infuriating. The GFI <laughs> into the end zone to you know like was like a guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so I, you know, lots of people hated that change the multiple reroll, but I I always thought it'd be all right and. Some people like it now and some people don't, but I, I quite like it. The only problem is the one turns, right? It makes one turns for Skaven even easier. Yeah. Crazy mm -hmm. how easy it is for them now to score one turns. But they can't get a natural one turner anymore, right? They can't, they can't, but they can yeah. get but like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, 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 you have a juggernaut roger and like a sidestep, like this guy, in fact, right? This guy. Sidestep, two heads, and sprint. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. he just needs one push, and with Juggernaut, nothing can stop him doing it. So <laughs> it's pretty stupid. <laughs> he left him blitzable to stop the one turn. I think that was a mistake. Mm -hmm. A movement yep. seven one. Oh, it's movement eight. Okay, to be fair, it's movement eight. Oh. That's yeah. Just the <laughs> yeah, he had a movement eight go. Hmm. But it's I still wouldn't have exposed this gutter. Like at least expose one of your uh, one of your blitzes, right? Not not your gutter. Not your gutter that's like your one turner and like the entirety of the team. <laughs> that's the good thing about about progression, isn't it? Like the uh, the the chalice these days is resurrection, so there's no, you know, like it's good that all the games are fair because everybody's seventeen hundred TV. But it means things like that, last turn deaths. It's good from a spectating point of view, isn't it? Horrible when you're playing the game, 
but great for spectators to see this this white just run around and kill the gut runner. <laughs> it's always pretty fun, I think. And there you go, the game's finished. And you know how in Blood Bowl 2 that would take us to the results screen? Of course. You'd press OK and you'd go to the results screen. Blood Bowl yeah. 3 just boots you back to the main menu. Awesome. Yep. <laughs> then you've got it. I'm you, actually surprised that you can spectate games in this uh, at all. So Yeah, yeah it, took a, it took a long time. It took like <laughs> eight months or something. It took a long time. And so now you've got to click all these buttons, search for the league, click find the find the competition, then click on these buttons just to take you to the page that it used to take you to after a game ended. So, God, so this UI is so awful. Mm. Yeah, yeah, it's got problems. Um, but mm. there you go. So congratulations to Pybot. Might have got a ticket to the World Cup. Um, so the next semi-final is Andy Devo versus Antrim, and if Antrim, if if Andy Devo wins that, then Pybot gets the ticket to the World Championship. If Antrim wins it, then the winner of the final will get the ticket to the World Championship. And BB3 uh, World Championship. BB3, yes. BB3. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they start on October the 27th, and they last for about six weeks, um, Good Lord. and they are concluded on the weekend. The 6th to the 8th of December, which will be the Montpellier weekend and will be great fun and glorious production in a proper TV studio. Very excited to go at that game. So, ah, yeah. That'll be good for you. That's cool. That's my birthday, too. So, yeah. you know, you better you better stop everything and wish me a happy birthday during the uh, professional stream. I absolutely will, Skuro, yeah. D I <laughs> don't, because I won't be watching. <laughs> I'll say school room, so I know you're not watching out there. <laughs> but happy just, birthday. Just throw, in, just throw in a bunch of references. Like, if you're talking, it's like, yeah, there's some really top tier leagues in here. You know, I think they're missing representation from the SFL, obviously. <laughs> but otherwise, you know, like, the second tier leagues have made it into this world championship. Uh, so, you know, you're going to get a sense of who maybe could sniff the boots of an SFL winner. I will, I will do that that's for you. All, that's all I want for my birthday. <laughs> I will try and work that in for you, Skuro. <laughs> and, Excellent. Uh, <laughs> well, there you go. Right. Um, so that's it. Congratulations, Pybot. Commiserations, Sir J. Hans. Thank you very much, Skuro. Great to have you back in the booth again. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I made it right on time for you, and I hope I contributed anything. Certainly not any Blood Bowl analysis, but uh, it was always, always a pleasure. Thank cool. you, everyone, and good night. Glorious. And thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.